If you're sitting on a little extra cash and wondering how you can multiply it, then the only way to do it is investing it. And in this video, we're going to empower you to achieve both personal and financial greatness by unlocking the best version of yourself by breaking down investment basics for you. But before we move forward, let's first tell you a story about Sarah. Sarah loved gardening. It was her passion and her escape. She started with a small patch of soil in her backyard, planting a few seeds she had on hand. Sarah knew very little about gardening at first, but she was eager to learn and grow. She tended to her garden daily, learning from each success and setback. Over time, her garden flourished, turning into a lush, vibrant space filled with fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Sarah's garden became more than a hobby. It became a metaphor for growth. She realized if she could grow a garden from a handful of seeds, she could apply the same principles to her finances. Sarah decided to take the leap into investing, starting small, just like she did with her garden. She invested in a few stocks and bonds, carefully choosing ones that resonated with her values and interests. Just as she nurtured her garden, Sarah nurtured her investments. She was patient, giving her investments the time they needed to grow and mature. She learned to weather the storms of market volatility, just as she had learned to protect her garden from pests and harsh weather. And just like her garden, her investments began to grow, providing her not just with financial returns, but with a sense of achievement and security. Sarah's story teaches us a valuable lesson. Investing isn't about having a lot to start with. It's about starting with what you have and nurturing it wisely. Whether it's a garden or your finances, the principles of growth and care remain the same. It's about planting the seeds, being patient, and watching your efforts bloom over time. Now let's take what we've learned from Sarah's story and apply it to investing. Whether you're starting with a small amount or just looking to grow your wealth wisely, this video is for you. We'll explore how to make smart investment choices, grow your wealth over time, and achieve financial freedom. So if you're ready to plant your financial seeds and nurture them into a thriving future, stick around. It's time to learn how to invest wisely and grow your wealth. Coming off Sarah's story, where we saw her garden grow from a few seeds, let's think of your investment the same way. Just like Sarah needed to know how much she could dedicate to her garden, you need to figure out how much money you have for investing. It's like deciding, do I have a lump sum, say a thousand bucks to plant in my financial garden, and let it grow on its own? Or can I water it with maybe $100 every month? This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by understanding what you can put in. Next up, why are you planting this financial garden? What's the dream harvest? Is it a house, retirement, or maybe funding a passion project? And very important, when do you want to start enjoying the fruits? It's not just about planting the seed. It's about knowing when you want to sit in the shade of the tree. This goal setting is crucial because it guides how you'll nurture your garden. Remember, this is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by having a clear vision of your harvest. Now, not all gardens are the same, right? Some are floral, some are veggies, and some are a mix. In the investment world, that translates to different types of investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and so on. Each has its season and reason. Some grow quick but might not last long. Others take time but are worth the wait. Deciding whether you're in for a quick bloom or a lasting forest will help define your strategy. As Warren Buffett famously said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by choosing the right seeds for your garden based on your time frame. And what about the weather? In our garden metaphor, that's the risk. Some plants can survive storms, others need a stable climate. If you're okay with a calm but less colorful garden, a low-risk investment might be for you. But if you're after a lush and vibrant vista, you might have to weather some storms. High risk could mean high reward, but also higher chances of losing petals. And once you have these things defined and you determine what your investment profile is like, the next thing you need to do is to learn about the types of investments and figure out what's suitable for you. All right, the first stop is fixed income. It's pretty much what it sounds like. You hand over a chunk of your money into an investment that promises to pay you back with some interest on top at specific times. This is the slow and steady racehorse in the investment world. 
Now, one common way people do this is through state bonds. It's like lending money to the government, and then after a certain period, they give you your money back with a little extra as a thank you for the loan. Sure, it's not without its risks. The government could hit a rough patch, or the economy could take a wild ride. But historically, these kinds of investments are pretty reliable. They're the slow and steady wins the race type, offering you a calm way to dip your toes into investing waters. And this, right here, is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, especially when you're just starting out and looking for a safer bet. Well, it might not make your heart race like some high-flying stocks, but it's a foundational step. Even Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of our time, talks about the importance of not losing money as a key part of growing wealth. Fixed income investments are a way to embrace that philosophy, keeping your investment growing steadily without too much worry about losing your shirt. So how do you get started? It's simpler than you might think. Many online platforms and banks offer easy ways to buy into fixed income investments like bonds. It's a matter of setting up an account, deciding how much you're comfortable investing, and then choosing the bonds that fit your goals and comfort level with risk. Stepping up from the predictability of fixed income, we have the vibrant market of variable income. This is the land of stocks, cryptocurrencies, forex, and stock market indices. Think of it as entering a bustling market. Each stall offers different goods, some familiar and some exotic, each with its own potential for profit or loss. Let's start with stocks, the cornerstone of variable income. When you buy a share, say in companies like Tesla or Amazon, you're buying a tiny piece of that company. Prices can jump up or slide down based on a million things, from company earnings to global news. While some stocks pay you dividends, essentially a share of the profits, others reward you by increasing in value over time. This is where the saying, buy low, sell high comes into play. But remember, timing the market is a tricky business. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by selecting stocks that align with your belief in a company's long-term growth, not just chasing short-term gains. Now, Forex or the foreign exchange market is another beast altogether. It's all about trading currencies like swapping dollars for euros, aiming to profit from changes in their value. But here's the thing. It's incredibly volatile and complex. As more than 80% of Forex traders lose money, it's a high-stakes game that requires constant attention and a deep understanding of global economics. For beginners, it's probably not the best starting point. Cryptocurrencies, the digital darlings of the investment world, offer a wild ride. Bitcoin and its kin have made millionaires overnight, but have also led to dramatic losses. It's an area fueled by speculation, technological promise, and frankly, a bit of hype. While the technology behind crypto blockchain is groundbreaking, investing in cryptocurrencies is not for the faint-hearted. This is an area where you must tread carefully, understanding the high risk and volatility at play. Then we have stock market indexes like the S&P 500 in the US or the coal cap in Colombia. Instead of buying individual stocks, investing in an index allows you to own a small piece of many companies, spreading out your risk. It's like betting on the overall health and growth of the market rather than picking single winners. This diversified approach is a smart way to capture the growth of entire sectors or economies over time. So to invest wisely and grow your wealth, you need to trust in the broader market's upward trend over the long haul. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more content like this, comment the word wealth creation so I know. Another dimension of growing your assets is real estate. Now, real estate isn't just about buying a house to call home. It's about seeing property as a source of income. Imagine putting down a payment on a house, then renting it out. The rent you collect could cover your mortgage payments and maybe even leave a bit extra in your pocket each month. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth through real estate. But remember, this isn't a quick cash out game. Real estate is a long game. And while properties generally appreciate over time, they're not liquid assets you can sell off in a pinch without cost. Plus, the market can be unpredictable. Yet, with the right property and management, real estate can yield a solid return, often cited around 10% annually. Then there's the entrepreneurial path. 
starting your own business or entering into a partnership. This is the realm where fortunes are made and financial dreams become reality. Most self-made millionaires attribute their wealth to owning a business. It's perhaps the most direct route to financial success, embodying the essence of investing wisely to grow your wealth. Yes, the risk is significant, and not every venture sails smoothly to profit. The journey from startup to stability is fraught with challenges, requiring patience, skill, and the willingness to learn and adapt. Yet the rewards of turning a vision into a profitable enterprise can far outweigh the initial hurdles. This path demands more than just financial investment. It calls for dedication, creativity, and a relentless pursuit of providing value to the market. And then there's the investment in metals, like gold. Unlike the digital numbers that represent stocks or the physical properties of real estate, gold offers something tangible. It's been a traditional means of preserving wealth through centuries of economic ups and downs. Buying gold or other precious metals is not about seeking rapid gains, but rather protecting the value of your money over time. It's a hedge against inflation and economic uncertainty. However, it's essential to remember that metals are not immune to fluctuations. Their value can indeed rise and fall, and while they may not always outpace inflation significantly, they offer a sense of security to those wary of market volatility or looking for a physical investment. To embark on any of these investment paths, start by doing your homework. For real estate, research the market, understand the costs involved, and consider the location and potential for rental income. For starting a business, refine your idea, assess the market need, and plan your strategy carefully perhaps even seeking a mentor. And for investing in metals, learn about the different ways to purchase gold, whether through physical bars, coins, or indirectly through ETFs that track the price of gold. In each of these investments, the key to wisely growing your wealth lies in careful planning, understanding the risks involved, and aligning your choices with your long-term financial goals. Whether it's the tangible asset of real estate, the entrepreneurial venture of a business, or the protective hedge of metals, each avenue requires a distinct approach and mindset. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by diversifying your portfolio and exploring opportunities beyond traditional stock and bond investments. Moving forward into the realm of diversifying your portfolio, we have the world of collective investment funds. Think of these funds as a potluck dinner where everyone brings a dish to share. In this case, the dishes are your investments and the dinner party is the fund. Imagine pooling your money with that of other investors, all managed by a professional who decides which dishes or investments will make the most balanced, flavorful meal or portfolio. That's the essence of a collective investment fund. This flexibility allows investors to contribute or withdraw at various intervals, providing a tailored fit for your financial appetite. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by leveraging collective expertise to potentially outpace inflation and savings account yields. In countries experiencing fluctuating economies, these funds often aim to beat inflation, ensuring your investment doesn't lose its purchasing power over time. A quick Google search for best investment funds in your country can reveal options that have historically outperformed inflation. It's like having a guided tour through the investment landscape pointing out which paths have been most fruitful. What's more, these funds come in all flavors, from the conservative bonds to the spicy stocks, including international markets and even niche areas like real estate. The beauty here is choice. Whether you're a cautious diner preferring a mild dish or an adventurous eater in search of something bold, there's a fund that matches your taste. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth by aligning your investments with your risk appetite and financial goals. But how do you choose the right fund? Look for the ratings. Just as you'd check a restaurant's reviews, funds are rated based on management quality and risk. A high rating can give you confidence in your choice, knowing your investment is in capable hands. And with the convenience of most banking entities offering these funds, access is just a few clicks away. As we delve into these options, it's crucial to temper expectations. Investing isn't about getting rich quick, it's about steady growth. The most successful investments typically yield 10-15% annually. 
So if you're starting with $1,000, earning $100 in a year is a win. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by understanding and respecting the pace at which your investments can realistically grow. For those looking to potentially earn more, starting a business might be the way. Investing $1,000 in equipment to start a YouTube channel, for example, could bring in more than a simple 10% return. Plus, you retain the value of the equipment, which could be sold if needed. It's a more hands-on approach to investment, blending financial outlay with creativity and hard work. Finally, remember the power of the long term. Short-term fluctuations can be unsettling, but patience often pays off. Steady, consistent investment, rather than chasing quick wins, is key. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by keeping a long-term perspective, avoiding schemes that promise unrealistic returns, and steering clear of anything that resembles a pyramid or multi-level marketing scheme. Now the practical step to get started is to begin by searching for collective investment funds available in your country. Look into their historical performance, management quality, and risk rating. Match the fund to your financial goals and risk tolerance. Whether it's a low-risk bond fund or a high-risk stock fund, ensure it aligns with your investment strategy. Don't feel pressured to invest a large sum up front. Many funds allow for small initial investments, making it easier to start. And finally, keep an eye on your investment's performance. Be prepared to adjust your contributions or switch funds as your goals or the market changes. Investing wisely in collective investment funds offers a structured, accessible way to grow your wealth. Tapping into the expertise of fund managers while diversifying your portfolio. It's about making informed choices, setting realistic expectations and staying the course, all while keeping an eye on the long-term horizon. Moving forward, the next important thing you need to know about is that in the investment journey, it's easy to get swept away by the allure of quick wins and the seductive narratives of overnight success. Yet the essence of truly growing your wealth lies not in the pursuit of fleeting victories, but in the cultivation of long-term value. Let's tackle a common myth head-on. The idea that you can consistently buy low today and sell high tomorrow, turning a quick profit, it's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Seeing a stock rise 3%, 5%, or even 10%, and imagining the fortune you could make if you timed everything just right. But here's the reality. While those spikes can happen, banking on them is more akin to gambling than investing. The truth is, people who chase these short-term gains often find themselves running in circles. They might win some, but over the long haul, they're more likely to see returns that barely outpace inflation, if they see any gains at all. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by recognizing the difference between investing and speculating. The most successful investors, like Warren Buffett, advocate for a long-term approach. He understands that true value isn't in predicting the market's next move, but in identifying companies that will grow over time. Buffett famously said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. This wisdom underscores the virtue of patience in investing. It's about committing to investments that show promise for steady growth, not just a sudden spike. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by focusing on long-term potential rather than short-term fluctuations. Another pitfall to avoid is the fear of missing out, FOMO particularly when it comes to once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. Investment opportunities are not going extinct. If an offer comes with pressure to act now or miss out forever, caution is your best friend. Historically, investments promising quick, risk-free returns are often too good to be true. They prey on FOMO, leading many to make hasty decisions that benefit scammers at the expense of genuine investors. In all that, one of the most overlooked investment strategies is investing in oneself. Enhancing your skills, learning new ones, or even starting a business that aligns with your passion can offer returns far exceeding those of traditional investments. This personal growth not only enriches your life, but can also open new avenues for income. It's a way to turn your talents and interests into financial assets. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth by recognizing the value in yourself as much as in any stock or real estate. For those eager to dive deeper, 
you can start by unraveling the subconscious patterns that limit our financial potential and cultivate a mindset of abundance. Now for this, you can take help from the internet. There are a lot of free and paid courses available that you can take help from and train yourself. By identifying and leveraging our unique talents, we can find and seize opportunities to grow our wealth in ways that resonate with our true selves. This approach not only enhances financial freedom, but also ensures that money becomes a source of joy rather than stress. In short, the journey to financial freedom is multifaceted. It involves careful analysis, a long-term perspective, and an avoidance of the pitfalls of quick gains and unfounded promises. It's about finding balance, seeking growth, and investing in what truly matters. This is how you invest wisely and grow your wealth, by navigating the investment landscape with patience, wisdom, and a keen sense of your own values and goals. Our discussion has revealed a fundamental truth. Investing wisely and growing your wealth isn't about chasing shadows of overnight success or succumbing to the fear of missing out. It's about embracing patience, diligence, and a commitment to long-term growth. It's about understanding that the real value lies not just in the assets we accumulate, but in the knowledge we gather, the skills we hone, and the joy we find in the journey. As you step forward from here, armed with insights and inspired by possibilities, remember that the path to financial freedom is both a personal and a financial quest. It's a journey that demands mindfulness, resilience, and an unwavering focus on your goals and values. So whether you're just starting out or seeking to expand your horizons further, the principles we've explored together are your compass and map. Keep learning, keep growing, and above all, keep moving towards the life of abundance you envision. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. Now, if you want to know how to grow your wealth and live off your investments, I recommend you watch this video next. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video informative and exciting. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wealth-building content. Until next time, happy investing, and may your financial journey be prosperous.